hey guys uh, welcome back to the new video uh, so as you have seen the uh, caption uh, so we will discuss on it like is devops dying so uh, recently i watched one video uh, of misha where he was saying about uh, is devops dying so i just curiously watched it because i just wanted to uh, like know what what is happening or something and i just wanted to understand the uh, how market is uh, like working currently and what all skills uh, or the new tools are in the market so i uh, check all those uh, regularly so gone through that video and uh, so it was a pretty in depth video and some of the points uh, i would like to share uh, even i understand okay how uh, so i just connect with him because uh, what he was saying uh, it's correct um, like the ma devops uh, as a position if you can see so it is dissolving and it is evolving into multiple uh, like other roles uh, so devops is not a role as such so previously people are asking for devops but in that devops if you can see the job uh, description so some of the tools they uh, should have men mentioned in that one like uh, they want a devops engineer who does the iac work uh, for them like uh, infrastructure as a code in terraform or so uh, automation and uh, um, so and some roles are like uh, so they wanted to build the uh, like ci cd pipeline and kubernetes deployments they required so it depends on the need they choose the devops as a position inside that they add the all those uh, different different tools uh, tooling or uh, the skills they want for that particular job so uh actually devops is not a uh, like a role as such and we can say devops are the set of practices which we do uh, which help us to ship and uh, ship the code like the build and deploy the code faster and more securely and we can monitor those uh, changes uh, through the monitoring stacks and uh, we fix those issues if any bug or something is happening in our application we can fix those with the uh, ci cd pipelines uh, much more quicker so that uh, the downtime will get uh, decreases so a uh, recent as per the recent uh, updation a um, lot of job uh, roles if you can see uh, are required to have some uh, tooling knowledge by default okay so previously what happens is only the uh, devops engineer was supposed to write the iac files or yaml files for pipelines or tooling and everything so now the uh, market is shifting towards uh, they are asking particular roles and they are segregating those particular roles for particular that technology so in terms of uh, we can say uh, like if we are thinking about creating a new uh, application and uh, deploy those into the production so that is where the platform engineers come into the picture so what they create is they create the pipeline in such a way like it will build the uh, latest changes which are pushed from the uh, like devs to the production with the help of ci cd by writing the yaml files selecting the tools like uh, which ci tools and which cd tools they are going to use uh, the security measures like uh, how uh, they are going to test that application before going to the production how they are going to release those uh, like particular pro updates or the job uh, or the builds to the production so that's all uh, is in part of the platform engineering then after the completion of the like uh, once the uh, production is live now it comes to a uh, job of the sres we can say like they are the ones who checks the uh, they uh, they continuously monitors through the prometheus or efk stacks and uh, as per the alerts they p1 p2 p3 uh, and uh, uh, they resolve those uh, issues as per the uh, slos and slis uh, which they have um, and uh, so th those are the sre jobs so now the platform engineering are the people who are uh, more into 
creating that particular application and deploy it like from the idea to like the build and uh, deployments so that's the platform engineer so now if uh, now is the application is uh, live we need to monitor it and fix those uh, some of those issues uh, uh, bug fixing and everything that comes into the sre part of it so and the third one is the cloud engineer so cloud engineer are the ones who are uh, majorly works on the uh, aws gcp or alibaba in any cloud provider like they write the ics like infrastructure as a code they build the ic pipelines to deploy those they um, uh, ensure that uh, that application like uh, the ics are scaling uh, they are um, they are more looking into cost optimization part of it uh, so these are the cloud engineers jobs uh, so like whenever if you can see the cloud engineers job description these days so you probably find the ics like terraform uh, pulumi aws cdk uh, so it depends on the technology and tool stack and uh, if you uh, and there will be a ci cd pipelines uh, through the jenkins or gitlab ci github actions anything and uh, uh in terms of secure cloud security and cost cost optimization whereas sre roles are more of a uh, uh if you can see the jd there uh, you will have to understand the prometheus stack how the monitoring is working how the uh, like uh, slos slis and in terms of the platform engineering job posting you will see the uh, complete uh, from the scratch like uh, tooling like uh, how the branching strategies will be how uh, we need to create the ci cd pipeline uh, what are the uh, how we are going to build it how we are going to check or the testing part of it everything uh, comes under the platform engineering so devops is now evolving or dissolving into this particular uh, peculiar job profiles and uh, if you can see these days uh, so ci cd pipelines ic cores are uh, being uh the, the market standard for like uh, so previously it was like uh, we need to uh, have a fair idea that is fine but it's now a part of job of a software engineer or any data engineers to build those pipelines um, on their own uh, they need to write their ic uh, code for it and deploy it so that is there so uh, so all those particular postings are now peculiar about uh, okay so what team or what this particular candidate is going to work with so that is why if you can see the particular devops uh, uh, postings are uh, going down but the platform engineers or sres are going up because they required uh, to work with uh, so platform engineers generally work with kubernetes and other style uh, so we can discuss that uh, tool stack in our, our next video because i'm planning to uh, create a new video on tooling of the how uh, the, how i have worked on and multiple toolings and we can discuss that in the next video uh, so uh, we can see this uh, workflow uh, chart like so how the market trend is so actually uh, if you can search for a particular devops profile it is uh, if you can see that the that profile is yeah, falling decreasing job posting reducing the remote workings and everything but they are not just dying in terms of the uh, that position or the role but they are increasing in terms of particular peculiar um, job roles like the platform sres cloud engineers uh, something like that so uh, when we are talking about uh, devops is dying so it is not the title is fading not the actual work they are going to do or the person who knows the devops and those tools st stacks are being uh, absorbed by the team uh, in terms of uh, uh, the platforming platform engineering skills sra skills cloud skills like that uh, so uh so you need to understand yes so platform engineer needs to know the kubernetes uh the ci cd and everything whereas cloud engineers want to uh, understand how the scaling works in the uh, cloud cost optimization ics sre is uptime monitoring prod uh, prod production environment health correct 
also nowadays uh, software engineers to monitor the stack deploy it uh, uh, into the pipeline and uh, they build the need to build the pipeline like jenkins file or something they need to write uh, data engineers need to uh, uh, like create the pipelines like data pipelines uh, and the ic code to an ic code deployment these are the things they are uh, like uh, like more asking in the market and uh, analytics engineer like uh, python automation cloud native these are some of the roles are um, being uh, like seen in the current job market in terms of the future purpose is the devops uh, is still relevant so i can say yes because uh, it's not the uh, it's not just about the uh, like tooling okay so first you need to understand how your application is going to be written in like uh, which language it is been written how you can build it how you can add the security what are the things you need in terms of the cloud uh, services uh, to deploy this particular application you need to understand uh, the cost optimization part security part and suppose if something breaks how you can uh, like uh, f- figure it out so that's why the monitoring comes into the picture so you need to understand this uh, complete uh, flow so that you are more relevant to it and the person who have worked on this um, before will get the added advantage into the future for sure so it's not just about learning from the t- uh, tutorials or udemy courses so now it's the real world projects so you need to understand how the production experience like how the uh, uh, how you are able to fix those uh, particular production issues uh, like suppose uh, you have a, a bug uh, reported from the team Uh, how you are going to fix that within a uh, uh, limited time of uh, within the limited time without breaking something else how you can um, like deliver it faster so all those things you need to understand so yeah certifications are less valued because certificate some certifications are like uh, having uh, testing your knowledge through the uh, multiple mcqs uh, type of questions right so uh, like who can mug up the uh, answers he can just uh, clear that uh, particular certification but it's not like uh, they understand that particular uh, or work on that particular tool is just that they are they know how that uh, particular exam will be like uh, questions from the dumps or so so they can clear that certificate so uh, now the companies are not focusing more on the certifications so, so there are some certifications like kubernetes so kubernetes certifications are like hands on certifications like they are uh, you need to add uh, like uh, kubernetes administration um, um, certification is like you need to do the like solve the issues you need to create the files like yaml files uh, like manifest files and deploy those uh, and uh, resolve the issues uh, in the production or any application or any cluster or multi cluster uh, those are those kind of a certification are really helpful for you uh, in the future uh, in this uh, particular video um so let me know what do you think about uh, uh the new approach or the new phase of uh, devops uh, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching uh, catch you in the next one